Okay, you guys are good. Thanks. Thank you. So we are all set to go, commissioners. Good afternoon, everybody. <clears throat> uh, as Director, Co-Director Kauser said, we we're going to begin with the Public Campaign Finance Board before turning to the to the Board of Elections. And so I have the honor of uh, making a few quick remarks and then going through our agenda. As always, let me begin by asking if there is a motion to adopt the pre-circulated minutes from the last meeting. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none opposed, the minutes are adopted. Uh, next on our agenda is our unit update. Um, I will only say a few introductory remarks and then I'll turn it over to co-director Kauser. Um, as all of you know, we have been working incredibly diligently, incredibly hard to stand up the, the um, statutory requirements of the public campaign finance board. Uh, chief among our, our concerns and work has been, um, for those of you who have followed the blow by blow, um, the hard work we've had to hire up staff who would make this program ultimately successful. And so after a start, which required a lot of energy, um, in particular, finding and onboarding the right people, we have really picked up the pace in hiring and are uh, pleased and proud of the people who are joining. That being said, we are remain uh, committed to bringing on the best people and remain committed to making sure that the people who uh, populate the, the public campaign finance board reflect the full diversity of New York state. And so that's just a way of my also saying, as we continue to put out um, job postings, I encourage all of you to reach into your networks to get us the very best and the very broadest slate of candidates possible. I continue to do so. I know that co-director Kauser is dedicated to doing so and everybody else. Um, we've also worked very hard at um, space planning. As you know, space planning was a, a, a constant challenge for a long, long time. And I'm glad to say that we've made some considerable progress there um, in finding the, the place where the people who lead this program will be. Procurement has, is uh, something that has gone on um, uh, overdrive now. We work, we're working uh, hard to both meet our statutory requirements and get the software that's going to make up the guts of this program. And indeed, exciting things like the website are on the horizon. And so the public will be able to see the first look of the public campaign finance, uh, the finance board soon. So it's been a, a you know a really hard working year, uh, more than a year since our senior staff was hired and they've done remarkable work. I'll close just by saying, I've sat in on meetings where the senior staff has gone all the way to say the first day of uh, the last day of the first elections under this program, and they have really worked themselves backwards day by day by day. What has to happen the day before, the day before, the day before, until today? to make sure that the program can be successful. And their hard work is um, a constant uh, constant source of, of uh, should be a source of pride to all of us. Um, if there, are there any questions for me before I turn it over to co-director Kauser? Cheryl, it's all yours. Thank you, commissioner. Good afternoon. So this is a, um, a unit update since uh, we last met on March 4th. The public campaign finance budget request was supported in full. We received $10.5 million in the state operations appropriation. In addition to our request, there was a $10 million in aid to localities uh, funding to the New York State campaign finance fund account for payments starting in 2024. In regards to staffing on April 13th, the Civil Service Commission classified two assistant PIO positions and 12 candidate liaison positions. The PIO positions have been calendared for a June-July onboarding date. Six candidate liaisons are scheduled to be onboarded in July of 2022 and six in January of 2023. These positions were posted April 22nd to the New York State job website, LinkedIn. We are sharing externally, such as to UAlbany and other sites, and we'll continue this work this week. Um, 
We will have four ITU positions posted to the state jobs website soon. And then the last of the positions to be classified will be the investigators uh, to be classified for 2023. In regards to pr program management, uh, the statement of work that we had been working on went to the Office of General Services on March 31st for the software procurement. We met with OGS at least twice, most recently on April 22nd, and we meet again this week. Uh, we have planned biweekly meetings going forward during this process. Generally, OGS has determined that the method of procurement uh, would be best met, met with an RFP or request for proposal. And right now, um, our goal this week is to really work on the timeline with the Office of General Services to be able to meet our goals and also still have a robust procurement process. Um, we began an engagement with the um, ITS, Information Technology Office, and with our PIO office for our website. And we are started the creation of the PCFB webpage. Uh, site configuration um, started this week based or last week based on PCFB guidance. We trained four staff in April on this and two in May, two in the summer. We are on slate for our July launch. Uh, and gradually we'll roll out content in a really planned manner to not confuse candidates in this election cycle. So um, essentially the, the initial content will have that the program will start November 9th, 2022, and have the information that is currently posted on our website. The ITU um, subunit in our office is updating the electronic filing software for the new committee type that will be created for participating candidates. And then that will provide them the ability to make enhanced filing. This will be tested internally and then with our external user group. Um, Subunits audit or audit subunit is creating intake and auditing procedures that are in the process to be tested with this upcoming primary. Uh, training is working on website content, material by office, handbook for review. They already created a new registration form, welcome letter, and application. So everything is, is um, coming along nicely. We are reviewing this election cycle in terms of candidates and fundraising to forecast funds needed that will be used. Um, and we're using the filing, as I said, for a test drive on manual auditing to coincide with this um, upcoming May filing. In regards to coordination with other state agencies and entities, we have been and still continue to coordinate with other state agencies for the payment process or validation of data, such as JCOPE and statewide financial system, and those efforts are ongoing. In regards to outreach efforts, we have reached out. Uh, we emailed a number of people for an external working group, as I've talked about. Um, this working group is in addition to treasures that we already utilize in compliance to test up updates to the electronic filing software. To date, 19 uh, organizations or individuals have accepted, um, and we're still expecting some more. Generally, the breakdown is one from the media, three or other campaign uh, finance program administrators, either locally or in other states, um, one consultant of a campaign, four vendors, one from a bar association, and six advocacy groups. We've reached out to the Center of Civic Design to work with them on the usability of the content in either forms, handbooks, any manuals, and our website and software. We are beginning to plan for future outreach events ahead of the November 2022 uh, program launch, uh, not only to existing committees um, that file here, but engage in social media and at public events. In regards to space planning, uh, the fifth floor will be renovated started in 2023. We gained 12 spots on the third floor and, and moved staff down from training and audit, and they really seem to enjoy that space. We are moving imminently across the hall into the old enforcement space on the fifth floor. So essentially we are moving forward on short-term needs and we will be continuing to work with division and budget and others to meet our long-term strategy. Um, and some staff are testing remote working one day a week. Um, that's the sum of my unit report. Uh, we do have regulations in new business, but I will let that discussion um, be addressed in new business. Are there any questions? Well done. Thank you.
So I take it that the issues that we were concerned about with OGS uh, uh, are in the process of being resolved and that we no longer regard it as such a high risk? I still regard um, our issues as a high risk because it's, I don't want to understate the importance of having software here in 2024. But we've had, we've been working together bi-weekly. They're at the table working with us. We've seen movement on short-term for space. I don't have any reason to believe we won't have the long-term space as we continue to work. And in regards to the software, um, we're working on the timeline. So they have one timeline that incorporates um, attorney general review, comptroller review. We have different, uh, about four months off. But when I compare the two, there's a lot that I think we can meet in the middle. Um, and that's the discussion that they committed to having this week. So I still consider timing um, a high risk, but I think we're really working well to get that under more control. I would say space-wise, short term, we're doing well, but we still have to work towards the long term because we need to make sure that our FTE number matches the vision of budget, which will then go to OGS so that they can plan extra space for us. We're still also waiting for swing space, so we'll talk about that in the next board meeting too. Future. Any, other, any other questions? Hearing none, I think that puts us on to old business. Is there any old business that needs to be addressed at the moment? No, there is not. I do not believe so. Very good. Then that brings us to um, what is actually pressing new business. And for this, actually, we will talk to our Republican colleagues. Um, Logan, do I understand that you'll lead our conversation here, I believe? Um, that, that's fine, Commissioner. Um, in new business, we do have a resolution for the republication of our regulations. Last fall, we put out three individual sets of regulations for public comment. Those comment periods have ended. We received in the ballpark of 200 comments from various organizations regarding all three sets uh, after reviewing various comments and working through additional business flows and program needs. We made amendments to the regulations in accordance with that. And due to that, we would like to republish those regulations in mass, one republication instead of three. And that would be for another 45 days in accordance with the State Administrative Procedure Act. Great. Now, um, uh, I see that you had put out this uh, really excellent uh, and thorough report on the uh, regulations and public comment. Um, is this document publicly available? Um, that's right, and that's, right. that, that's, that's the pur that was the purpose of this document, because given the assess we had to do an assessment of public com uh, comments for our sample, but that's limited to 2,000 words. And given the importance and, and breadth of this program and the comments we received, we thought it would be a good idea to draft this report, which we intend to cite in the assessment of public comments so the public can view it online. In addition to that, I think it's part of the agenda. Yep. Um, so, so is there a web link or? That's correct. Okay. So, so how would somebody find it? This, this report right now is, is posted on our website, right under the agenda for the, so right. we have posted the agenda, the resolution, um, the so three the regulations, the regulations and the report. That's right. And in addition to that, in the assessment of public comment itself, we've we paid on pointing to this document in addition to the legally required assessment that we need to do. Great. I think that was that's wonderful. And as I say, I think it's very thorough and uh, will be helpful for anyone who's reviewing. Do you need a motion? We win. <laughs> So moved. So moved. <laughs> and second. 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 All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, motion is adopted and the regulations will be um, again. Uh, what's the best word? Recirculated, Logan? Is that the best way to put it? Republished. 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 I should say republished. And, and thank you. You know, I. 
I perhaps don't have a chance to say it often enough, but I will say um, there've just been a lot of compliments on our side of the caucus about how um, how uh, conscientiously the work has been across the aisle. So thank you all for that. Um, you don't need my compliments, but I'm happy to hand them up. So thank you. Uh, and also, I should also thank my team, including Nick, who has been uh, just terrific and, and uh, exemplary in, in all keeping on top of all this. I think that's the end of the agenda, except for to invite executive session if needed. No. And do I we have a date one. for the next meeting for, or is that to be set at a later time? Uh, it will have to be set for a later time because okay. we, we wanted to coincide with the state board's meeting that has now gone into chaos. <laughs> sure. So <laughs> I don't, don't have a good target date at this point. So why don't we take maybe a couple of days or a week and, and come up with a date for the next meeting and then we'll have that posted. Right. Once, mm -hmm. once we know the date for the August primary, depending on okay. the primary, we'll be able to better know the state board schedule. Thank you. Great. So I move to adjourn. Do I have a second? Second. second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Anybody who wants to hear more musings from me? <laughs> terrible. Just terrible. Thank you, everybody. I think that adjourns the public campaign finance board. Um, and I now turn it over to uh, to the other commissioners for the uh, election board meeting. Thank you, everybody. Yeah,